I ain't even gotta say shit. I gotta just let the music play and say fuck it. But no. I gotta let your niggas know off top that I can't be faded like a hair could take a little off the top. Fuck it, pop your copper top and drain you for your dress. Street Smarks on SoundCloud and IG. Street Smart fan page on Facebook. Street underscore Smarks on Twitter. Or catch my antics at Ruthless Aggression Era on Facebook. Get into some wrestling. Did you see Alpha versus Omega? Wrestle Kingdom 12, New Japan Pro Wrestling, Kenny Omega versus Chris Jericho. No, I did not see that. I, that was on my to-do list, and I um, forgot to do it. And, um, yeah, no, I wish I would have, though. I heard it was pretty good. I didn't watch the match either. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, no. I had a lot of shit going on this week, you know what I'm saying? But uh, I heard it was great. Oh, you uh, the same thing. It's... Uh, it's very good for pro wrestling as a whole because um, somebody else is getting real money, you know? Uh, it's not just Vince getting money, you know what I'm saying? You know, Lucha Underground is getting some some. Well, Lucha Underground was getting a lot of money. Um, they had a Netflix deal. You know, the indies are blowing up and everything like that. But as far as big, big, you know, uh, international promotions is concerned, it's just WWE, and that's it. So uh, for New Japan Pro Wrestling to get... Uh, an impressive house. Uh, report, reportedly, they did like fourteen million dollars uh, at the Tokyo Dome for the show. Um, everybody's rating it that it's one of the greatest non WWE uh, events of all time. Really? Yeah. Um, wow. So it's something that um, I would suggest going out to see, especially uh, Omega and Alpha, uh, Chris Jericho, where you where you can see um, you can see these guys not um, under the the Vince umbrella. When they can really be heels uh-huh. and they can really be baby faces and they can really do some shit, you know what I'm saying? That's going to, you know, generate some heat, okay. generate some money and generate butts and seats. Which is the name of the game, you would think. You would think. Uh, Vince has, uh, he's gotten away from his core, his core, uh, his core competency, which is wrestling. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? He's doing the. The, the the films thing he's doing the network thing he's doing the cartoon thing he's doing the football <laughs> thing apparently again oh yeah come on xfl you know what i'm saying but uh getting away from the core competency of actually of of professional wrestling is is uh is actually allowing some of these uh other companies to flourish because if the number one game in town isn't making money people are going to go elsewhere to 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 hook their fix up yeah you know what i'm saying sure. so for all these other promotions wwe sucking is actually best for business i could see that <laughs> i see i see the logic behind that um uh, apparently there's a mixed tag challenge that's coming up oh boy okay they're doing uh intergender matches now I don't know. They're trying to spice shit up for 2018. Oh shoot! Uh, there's, you know, you know how the IWC gets. So they they they're memeing the shit out of all the uh, the graphics. <laughs> so uh, the the funny ones that I've seen uh, have been Braun and Alexa because of the disparity of their their sizes. Okay. And everybody's been been putting Brazzer logos, you know, oh. next, <laughs> next to their shit. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> I'd watch that. Right. <laughs> you know, so you know them geek virgin motherfuckers always want to live vicariously through their through their wrestling heroes. So they all they all want to see Braun give Alexa the dick. <laughs> oh, is, is that what you freaks want to see out there? Probably. <laughs> uh, you know they ain't getting no pussy, so you know they they do what they do. They do what they they can. Another one that's all that's been uh, floating through the internet has been uh, Xavier Woods and Paige. Oh wow! <laughs> <laughs> Reunited and it feels so good, <laughs> right? <laughs> and the last but not least, the last graphic that tickled my fancy uh-huh. was Roman Reigns uh-huh. tagging up with. This big man in drag. Oh, mm-hmm. cold blooded. <laughs> you, know, you know Vince loves his top guys. <laughs> yeah, I've uh, 
I've seen <laughs> countless recycled memes of where um, insert. I guess it started with John Cena in the meme, and then Vince looks like he's about to bust a nut or whatever. They I guess they take it from the sable shit or whoever had their legs open. Yeah. For. Hilarious. And now it's Roman, so it makes sense. <laughs> Other than that, um I'm scared to hit this. <laughs> Your shit makes up for it. Whew, wait till you wait till you hit the, oh man. But yeah, anyway, but yeah, oh this is gonna be fun right here. Um but outside of that, uh it's really been slow mo uh on the wrestling tip. Uh there's been a uh Oh, just got another subscriber oh, to the channel. Shout out to Andrew Doherty, subscriber number 88. Appreciate you, fam. Welcome to the club. You are now uh, part of the elite of the elite, my brother. Welcome to the wave generator. <laughs> Hope you survived the experience. We, we, we want to do something about that uh, that profile picture, though, fam. Yeah, yeah, that, that picture is... <laughs> we, we appreciate you, and the game is for free, so yeah, we go ahead and switch that up, fam. But we yeah. love you. You look like Kunta Kente. No, don't. No, hold on. Illegitimate No, side. he's number 88. Don't bury 88. Don't, no, don't do that. We love him. <laughs> no Const, constructive criticism. You know Change the profile pic, yeah, goof. That's a- <laughs> <laughs> but welcome. <laughs> Shout out to the 87 Street. <laughs> the street smarts. No, 88 now. I know, but he's about to quit. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> grand opening, grand closing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, there's one more thing I want to talk about. This ain't wrestling. Mm-hmm. But did you hear about the NBA changing up their all-star game? Yeah, I did hear about that. I guess top vote getter gets to be team captain and pick a squad or something like that. So, apparently, I talked to my basketball guru. Mm-hmm. He says... At first, uh, I heard a video talking about how th- it's a conspiracy that uh, since LeBron always loses in the All Star game, in the All Star game, mm-hmm. uh, that they changed the rules. You know what I'm saying to uh, acquiesce to LeBron's uh, ego and him being the face of the NBA. But the All Star game is meaningless, though. And that's what I wanted to fucking point out. The All Star game has always been meaningless for like at least 20 years. Like yeah. when they gave away the slam dunk contest. That's when I tuned the fuck out. Right. Like, I watched the, the slam dunk top contest between the two half and halves, uh, Zach Levine and Aaron Gordon, <laughs> like a couple years ago. That shit was live. Not the two half and halves. I mean, <laughs> at least you didn't say mulattoes. You know, I could have said quadroons. <laughs> right. <laughs> but them two motherfuckers got some ups. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But, uh, uh, yeah, the All Star game sucks. It's always sucked. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it's never any defense. Oh yeah, no. Nah. So it's like uh, they're obviously they're trying to repackage the All Star Game here. You know what I'm saying? Try to give it a, a nice little shiny new coating so people can watch because uh, they have some other shit. They got the the like they had the rookie sophomore game. I never watched that shit. Oh yeah. They would have the skills challenge. I would never watch that yeah. shit. I mean, I, I tuned out for the three point contest you know years ago. Um, but I used to hear they used to have all type. They had horse. Yeah. Who the fuck is watching this game? I, what's the worst? What is the worst game to watch? The Pro Bowl or the All Star game? Uh, NBA All Star game. I, I would probably still. I would go with the Pro Bowl on this one, just because at least in the fourth quarter of the All Star game, they will start to play defense. Yeah, when it's like 189 to 187. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But the Pro Bowl is typically shitty from beginning to end. Because don't nobody want to get hurt. You know what I'm saying? So, you know. I just thought I'd figure I'd bury the, the NBA real quick because they suck. You know what I'm saying? No, I, I, can, I can imagine watching an All-Star weekend and not having an All-Star game. I mean, uh, an All-Star game that is greatly contested and not have a uh, slam dunk contest. What's the point? Great question. I don't know. <laughs> not not one that immediately comes to mind. Exactly. That's why I said. Uh, I, I looked at the, uh, the the video where motherfucker was talking about the conspiracy about LeBron, mm-hmm. and I was like, man, I'm a conspiracy theorist guy. You are. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm a tinfoil hat guy, but uh, I don't want to wrap my head around the fact that some guy's ego is so fragile 
a billionaire. Yeah. That his ego is so fragile that he has to switch the motherfucking game up so it's better contested. Like, the motherfucker had $90 million before he fucking got on the NBA court. Can we close Andrew's pop-up? It's creeping me out. <laughs> Just playing Andrew. Um, but, yeah, no, I I mean, I don't know. I can't really see. It's really, because at the end of the day, they're not getting money from LeBron. They're getting money from the fans and the endorsement deals and all that other stuff. So, it would... I, I believe that I look for the financial benefit behind any potential conspiracy theory or any potential motive or plan or whatever, because uh, a lot of things are money driven, especially in with entities such as the NBA and all professional sports. Exactly. So I believe that there they must have did some market research or survey or something to think that they could boost more dollars by doing it this way and i i'm going to lump that in with unfounded conspiracy theory with that one i can definitely uh uh buy that for a dollar because i just don't see a billionaire just going hey <laughs> i'm always losing an all-star game oh, right <laughs> why don't you change the rules so i can win right you know what i'm saying like the motherfucker's been in the finals like eight straight years you know what i'm saying yeah, now if some came down the pike about something in the where the team LeBron's on gets spotted ten points or something, then I could, you know, say I could get with that. But you know, I said, I mean, the West is still more stacked than the East anyway, as far as um, top tier talent. So, I mean, what would be, what would be to gain for LeBron for that ultimately? Maybe more eyes on the product. But it's like, it's, you're going to have eyes on the product anyway. It's the NBA. Yeah. Whether or not they change the rules or not, they're always going to have these fucking, you know, NBA fanboys watching whatever the fuck they, they shell out. So I don't, it's just changing the product for changing the product's sake for me. It's not a conspiracy. I, 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 I can't buy it. Yeah. I can't buy it. I concur. We're going to come back. We're going to talk about some more wrestling history. Peace. Peace.